What's up, y'all? Sparta here. For this video, what I want to do is I want to compare the uh, natural setting on Android 11 on the LG V60 and the natural setting on the S20 FE here <laughs> in terms of screen. Now, both have 1080p OLEDs. Obviously, LG uses their OLED, whereas Samsung obviously uses theirs. <laughs> 6.8 inch or 6.9 I really don't remember compared to um 6.5 and one thing that you can definitely see here is that the V60 has more modes for your um screen here and through custom you still get your color temperature slider as well as your red green and blue and your saturation your saturation, hue, and sharpness meters down there. Um, cinema, you don't get any of those. Vivid, you don't get any of those. But natural, you also just stick to having the uh, color temperature slider as well. Whereas on the S20FE, all you have is vivid and natural. And under N... Under Vivid, you can adjust the white balance, or the color temperature, rather. And it gives you the options for advanced settings, which gives you RGB settings as well. So, when you use Vivid, you do get those options. But under Natural, which is what I'm going to be comparing it under, because somebody asked. Um, the I want to show you guys what exactly both look like. Um, so obviously different wallpapers on the phones, but I did end up downloading the wallpaper that I have on my S20 FE onto my, um, onto my V60 here. So let me go into the gallery on my S20 FE and pull up this picture as well. Okay. So obviously they're both OLED, so you will get deep blacks. I don't have them at the same setting in terms of uh i don't have them at the same setting in terms of um brightness that's why the s20 fe does look brighter but when i go and go up to 100 percent on the v60 it obviously will blow the camera out same with the s20 fe it'll just blow the camera out and like I've always said, I do feel that the V60 does indeed get brighter. It That hasn't really changed, obviously. Um, the blacks are deep blacks, obviously. You don't get any... From what I can see, you don't get any smearing at all when you, when you like move the picture with the blacks left and right. That sounded kind of racist, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm black, so whatever, I guess. Um, what I will say is what I noticed is that the V60, the white point does look a bit cooler. Whereas on the S20 FE, it's warmer. Um, I'll lower it back down to a reasonable... And another thing that I'll say about the V60 in terms of brightness, it does tell you what exact how how bright it is exactly whereas the s20 fe you kind of have to guess so this is just something this does suck in terms of having to test but they look pretty much the same as you guys can see v60 is a bit cooler well the s20 fe is definitely warmer and you can change that in the display settings on the V60 if you go here and you could change it to be warmer, right? So I do that, I go back and maybe I have to apply the setting, I don't know, but I go back and from what I can see, it definitely is warmer. It, the, the LG phones tend to have cooler displays overall that tends to be why I tend to prefer their displays because I don't really like the oversaturation that Samsung does 
But overall, I do feel that both do a very good job in terms of their, in terms of, I don't necessarily want to say they're super color accurate or anything like that. I don't, most phones don't go for true color accuracy, mainly because of the fact that they want, you know, customers, (laughs) customers tend to want, you know, punchy displays that are vivid and look nice and have very nice colors and all that and that's kind of been samsung staple lg in the past has been more about you know has had more natural looking more cooler looking displays and i will say that recording this on my note 10 through my note 10 you will kind of see that on the S20 FE, the little red magenta color here looks a little bit more vivid, right? It doesn't necessarily look more natural, whereas on or whereas on this, it looks a bit more purple. Pick your poison on both. When I look at them, through when I look at them myself, they both look pretty much the same color. I do see. I do think that. The S20 FE's magenta is a bit more dull, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's not to the point where I would say, oh, the V60 is just overall the better one. It completely, it's like, this one color is just better. Like, no, it's, either one is good. And obviously, if you're not comparing two phones at once, you're not going to see this. But overall, I do feel the natural settings on both are decent. If you want the more it, it just ultimately depends on what you want. If you want the cooler display, the V60 definitely is the better choice for you over the S20 FE here. Um, you also get stuff like video enhancer, enhancing settings and stuff like that on the V60 where it would say you put your phone in the landscape mode while you're watching a YouTube video. It will punch the colors up, so that's really nice. Uh, you don't have any sort of setting like that on... The S20 FE, you used to have that. I think I think my Note 10 had it at one point. I don't know if it still does because Samsung likes to remove features. But, you know, Samsung had it at one point. Now they don't. Um, you also get the option to allow the display out of auto brightness when you're just using manual brightness to hit higher p- higher you know, (laughs) brightness settings. So say you're in like a brighter area, say like the sun is directly hitting your phone, it will bright the display brighter than what you can set it to manually. Whereas the S20 FE will do that automatically. I do like the ability, the option to set it to where you, it doesn't do that. Cause sometimes it does it when there's just a little bit (laughs) more light and it'll just, you know, decide that that's enough light to make it to make the display brighter than that and it messes with colors messes with sharpness it just doesn't look right in my opinion and that's why i tend to not like it but you do get the option to turn it off in the settings on that on the v60 i'll even show you guys here so um where is it at right where the brightness is at as you guys can see here, it says extra brightness. Allow display to be brighter than max brightness. That's what you can set right there. And now the S20 FE, the Note 10 is overcompensating for the exposure right now. Um, so as you guys can see, that's something you can, that's something right there. I go to the settings on the S20 FE. I go back. As you guys can see in the brightness settings right here there's no sort of setting for that i scroll down there's really nothing more you can there's nothing more just the edge panels that you could turn off and all that there's really no sort of setting that'll give you that kind of that kind of control over how your display looks so in terms of overall controls and customization i do feel the v60 does better in terms of what you can do with its with the display on it um it, it's just overall <laughs> like you don't need something like good lock to get stuff like more navigation buttons at the bottom 
you don't need <laughs> there's just stuff that I just feel that in terms of overall display the V60 does better it's overall a brighter display even without the extra brightness setting it's a clearer display <laughs> even without that it just overall is still my personal personally favored display so that's pretty much it but let me know in the comments section below what you guys feel honestly that's just up to interpretation and up to personal per, personal opinion and preference if you like the warmer display out of the box then obviously a, a galaxy phone is just going to be what's right for you so um this is sparta thank you guys for watching thanks for support hope you guys have a wonderful tuesday whatever time of date is in your area have a good one